The big news is obviously this week you've got Judd Trump on board for the US Open. Firstly, start by telling us how that came about and, and why it came about. It's just huge news for Matcher and Paul and uh, big news for Judd as well. And uh, what a player. And he's just, Judd is just current right now. He's He's new, he's modern, he's fresh, and it's just exactly what Matchroom Paul is about. And it's exactly the direction that we're heading in for all of our Matchroom Paul series events. To get Judd on board for the US Open is fantastic news for um, the industry of Paul, for us, and, and Judd himself for his career. Um, we've been toying around about the idea at Championship League Snooker and you know, he was sort of sitting there and you could see his mind was sort of turning about, yeah, I might try it, Paul. And he's obviously, he's been stuck here in the UK. It's a chance for him to get out of the country and to go over to America. He also doesn't have much of a fan base and, and following in America. We've seen it, you know, with our own snooker events and, and now we have six Paul events. We have such a strong following over in the United States. And it's a real big chance for Judd to step over and to gain a new audience, a new following, and it just feels like he's the perfect person for it. Judd's arguably the best and strongest snooker player in the world right now. And for someone of his stature and his following to come into Paul, it's just brilliant news for Paul fans, Paul players um, who are currently in the industry because what a step up that we're now taking the sport. Um, we've always looked at Paul as you know, it's been played in the, the dark pool halls and kind of unprofessional and all gambling. And we're really trying to step it up into a new level and to a, a new area of professionalism. And you've got someone like Judd Trump who's traveling over to the US Open. And I said it to him myself, and it's not even a lie or even um, a way to try and get him into the event. This is probably the, the best event for him to have a crack at, Paul. Uh, 256 players, double elimination, um, race to nine in the first round, he's got a really good chance at this. And, you know, we've spent time with him. He doesn't want to go out there and make a fool of himself. He respects pool players and he respects their game, the bank shots, the jumps, the break. He knows that he has to practice at this and he knows he can't just turn up to the US Open, play TV table and, and have an easy game. He knows that that's not possible, which is fantastic because he knows he has to work at it and A, he has the respect for the game. And this just proves that Paul is up there and it is one of those sports that we can take into the next level. You know, a couple of years back, we were only doing three events a year. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to be looking at 2022, eight events in the Matchroom Paul calendar. Look at how far we've come. And then to all of a sudden be, um, to have someone like Judd wanting to play in our events. They're fun, they're quirky, he enjoys our snooker events and he looks at the pool and he looks at how, you know, Albin Alshan can turn up in the cool cars and gets treated like a celebrity. And I think he's gonna really, really enjoy something like the US Open. He's gonna turn up, he's gonna be made to feel special and that's our job. Um, and I think he's also, the players are gonna be scared to play him. He's a fantastic snooker player and his shots that he makes are just incredible. He is absolutely, he's, he's an incredible player and he's going to have that scare factor about him. So this is great news for the industry, incredible news. And he's not that much of a big time player over in the States. But let's see what happens. We're live on Sky Sports. Let's increase our viewing figures for the US Open. Let's get Judd Trump out there. Um, the news is going to pick up on it. And so this is great for our pool fans. And I really hope that this is now going to start a following. You know, if we look at more open events in the UK for pool, do some of the snooker players now make a switch? Not saying you have to, you know, um, make the full time switch over to pool, but they might enjoy it a bit more. They see that you do have the enjoyment from pool. And that's what we've got to try and get across to the fans, that pool is the fun factor. You go to the pub, you go to um, the pool halls and you go and play pool with your mates. The Moscone Cup, that crowd that you have in the Alley Pally, it's snooker meets darts, it's right in the middle. So Judd switching over and having a punt at this US Open event is just going to be fantastic for everyone involved. And it's great to see how interested and excited he is. Um, and I can't wait to see what, what unfolds from it. 
How, how difficult was it to get the deal over the line? Obviously, him being at the top of his game right now in snooker, he's probably got his focus fully on there. Was it? Did it take? Was there a lot of back and forth? And you know, tell us a little bit about that if you can. It started off with just a lot of joking around, and I, I think he thought I was joking, and then he kind of said yes, and I thought he was joking, and then we kind of were both back and forth joking around, and then said, and um, it was at Championship League snooker, and I sat down and said, right, come on let's talk business and um, let's make this happen. You, you don't have an event until October. Let's sort this out. Let's get this deal done. Come out to the US Open. But there's obviously lots of factors about it. Judd's a celebrity here in the UK. We can offer him something else. And I said to him, I promised him, I'll turn you into a worldwide celeb. Um, but, you know, it's, it's massive news for us and the pool industry. He's got a huge following over here. Um, it wasn't an easy task. Uh, he played hardball. He definitely did, but so did we, and so did I. Um, and I think what we both sat down and understood was that we mutually benefit from this. This is a great opportunity for Judd. He said it himself. There's a gap in the calendar, and it allows him to go. So jump on that opportunity, Judd. Jump on this opportunity to A, boost your career, and to have some fun, and to try something different. You know, you only live once. He's at the peak of his career. And he's the age that, you know, we're trying to really direct our pool events to. He's perfect for it. And I think it was just a lot of bargaining back and forth. He loves our events and, you know, whether he's lying to us about it, but he does enjoy our events. He, he likes to be made feel um, special. He's got a lovely suite at Harrah's. And um, so, yeah, it took a bit of back and forth, but we finally got him over the line. I think he sees the long term and the bigger picture um, and again it's it's going to be great news for Paul. Well it's, it's difficult because the, the prize money in snooker is just ugh, unbelievable in comparison to Paul um, and certainly a couple of years back I mean Steve Davis was even talking about it um, about how little the prize money and the appearance fee was when he played in the Moscone and I explained to him how it's changed now and how it's actually going to be changing moving forward. And he said, oh, well, like that, that would never have been the case. So we're stepping up a level. We're creating more events in the pool calendar. So it's, I feel like it's going to be a more attractive and more appealing to snooker players. Um, I think the fans, you're going to have your hardcore fans who are going to love the idea of someone like Judd Trump, who's a Judd Trump fan. Um, they love their snooker and they're going to be thrilled to see the snooker player come out. I think you're going to have your other fans who are, they see that sometimes snooker players can maybe disrespect the pool game. And, you know, you do see it. They see it as an easier chance um, at the game. And hats off to snooker players because it is tough and it's brutal. And, you know, there are more opportunities on a pool, pool table. You know, the pocket sizes, the balls, everything about it is, you know, different. But, again, I think Judd appreciates that there is also more level of skill than what people are probably um, appreciate. So I think the fans are going to see a different side to Judd. And maybe you don't always see Judd's personality coming through on the snooker side of things. And that's one thing that I think we go we're going to really home into and what we've been doing recently on our pool events is more player interviews, get everyone to know the players, spend time in the studio. And that's what Judd wants to do. He wants to be in the studio, he wants to be commentating. He wants to be involved. And I think the fans are really, anyone who doesn't like it at first, I think they're going to watch the first few days and really warm to him. And he's got a great personality and he's a competitor. He wants to win. Everyone wants to fight for that guy. And he's talented. So I think anyone who's on the fence will soon be turned. It might seem that we've got some time off at the moment um, looking into the US Open and then our next pool event isn't until December. But plans are, are hectic. This is the biggest that we've ever been when it comes to matchroom pool. 2018, we were three events a year. Um, you know, we were, we were big players in the industry and we put on the best shows and we invited the top players. And that's a key word, we invited the top players. Um, so we had our three invitational events. Now we've just catapulted into a totally different ball game. Um, we've elevated our special events and our pool events into now a matchroom pool series, which 
during a pandemic there were no events happening and we've actually managed to come out of that with a brand new event due to the pandemic and uh, you know we always like to have a silver lining somewhere um, but to go from potentially three events in 2018 to now possibly eight in 2022 uh, big plans coming soon it just shows that we're not messing around we are committed to nine ball pool we are committed to pool we're turning it around from you know just sitting on the invitationals and we're moving and we're expanding more into the open events the only way we can increase the nine ball um, throughout the world is if we stage more open events our ranking system that needs real real structure to and real attention to we've had a restructure in the matchroom pool department to ensure that we're looking at that um, more specifically and now we're just we're just looking at pool in a totally different way we're trying to increase participation I mean look we just tried to get we've got Judd Trump in for the US Open that's all part of our plans to increase participation here in the UK we're very strong in America, but we also need to be stronger here in the UK as well. Um, we're trying to professionalise the game. Again, more open events. How do we try and build the road to the Moscone Cup, which is that event that everyone wants to be a part of? We're no more just the Masters, the World Cup and the Moscone. We're doing Championship Leagues. We're doing US Open. We're doing the World Championship. And we might be doing more open events, a UK Open. The world is our oyster. We're not messing around anymore. We want to be real big time players in the pool industry. And that is what our plans are. And we're going to keep grinding until we change this sport around.